All right, you all know, you know what's about to happen. We're, we're gonna stop for a rant. Um, because this is, this is gross. This is really gross what's happening. Let's, let's, let's examine this. I cannot count on my two hands the number of press events, D23s, whatever, live streams, any of these things that Josh Tomorrow, Jeff Valley, all these people, these executives in the company have appeared on, even Bob Chapek, for that matter. How many of these things I've sat through since the pandemic started where I have heard them rant and rave about how important cast members are to them and what they mean to the company and how they make everything happen, all these things, I'm paraphrasing, but essentially that the cast members are the magic, right? Which is what we put on the shirt when we were raising $50,000 for cast member pantry when Disney wasn't taking care of them during the pandemic, by the way. Um, so we, we arrive now at, at this situation after you, every time you have a mic in front of one of you, we go on and on about how to have our cast members. We go to the cast service celebrations and we do our little Instagram posts with the ambassadors about how much we love our cast members, how much we care and how they make the magic and they're the heart of the company and all these things. If you believed those things, this should not be a moment of argument. This should not be a moment of fighting with them, right? Because we know the reality of the living situation in this town, because I have seen it. Right, like now we work, you know, I work in celebration, I live in celebration, right? I'm a little removed from it now. But in my younger years, when I first moved here, I saw it firsthand. I lived in a not great apartment complex. I lived in places where I saw things that I wish I hadn't seen. I've seen cast members live how many to an apartment and think like, wow, I live alone in that apartment. I, you know, it's not easy to make that rent, but man, they must really not be doing well if several of them need to cram in that tiny apartment. Never mind, like all the stories you hear about cast members that live in their car, can't feed their kids, all these, this is a real thing. And I don't wanna hear, none of you better go in those comments. I don't wanna hear like, they should look for another job, blah, 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 blah. Everybody is not afforded the same opportunities we all, we all are, right? I got extraordinarily lucky to be where I am today. There, is a, there was a much better chance I would have remained where I was when I moved here making $10 an hour and struggling to make, to make it, right? I got very lucky, very lucky. Not everyone is gonna fall into the luck that you or I fell into, right? People have different life circumstances and these things, and, and they go to Disney because they, they, they work for Disney because they believe in what you and I believe in, and they believe in the, that philosophy and the place. These are people that came as kids or even older in life and became true believers like you and I are in what the thing is and what it represents. And these people do absolutely make the magic because they care. They show up and they care about the place like we do. And without them, the place ceases to be the place. I don't care how good the rides are. I don't care how good the food is. If the cast members cease to care, the place is no longer good. And we have seen that decline, right? Like there's certainly, and I don't blame cast members, right? Morale at times, had to be low because they were treated like garbage, right? And that's why you go to Tokyo and they don't treat them great either, but the work morale is different. And you, you remember what things are supposed to be like at the parks as far as customer service and morale. And it's generally better, that's a cultural thing. But again, it, the customers here have been treated so badly, you, you can't, it, it's hard to show up and care, right? When, when you know the people above you are collecting all this money and they're just not willing to give you a raise to the point at which you can just live comfortably. But comfortably, I mean, make ends meet, right? And let's be perfectly honest, even with this raise, there are a lot of them that are still gonna need to go to that cash advance place that are still gonna have problems. Those extra couple dollars are maybe not even gonna get them into an apartment. But if that's the case, then this needs to happen now and the road to $20 has to begin. It has to begin. Right, and this is what Disney's gonna do, because this is what Disney has done forever, forever, is this breakdown in union negotiations. We've seen it, I can't even tell you how many times in my life, even before I did this for a living, where I remember coming here on vacation, turn on the news, and hearing these, these, these labor disputes with Disney. Right? I remember the mid-2000s. Right? Back, when, back when the option was on the table for them to go on strike, it used to be a thing they, they could do before it was written in that they, they can't. So they, they actually can't, fun fact. 
um, without losing their job. Um, you know, this has always been a thing, and what they do is they, they cast doubt, right? And don't get me wrong, like, the, the, union, the union has made its mistakes over time, and maybe not everyone in the union has everyone's best interest in mind, right? But the union is a protective net for Disney cast members that, that save them from the evil corporation, right? Because Disney, like, for as much as we love the creative side, and I do, I love the artistry and the creativity, there is a multi-billion dollar behemoth behind it, and those evils of corporate America exist within this really creative and wonderful company we love. And it's that, that's the fight we're in constantly, right? Especially in the Chapek years. It's the fight we are constantly in is between big, greedy, evil corporation and that beautifully, beautiful, creative company we fell in love with. And this has to exist to fund this, right? I get that. Um, but, but it's this constant fight, right? And part of that artistry is the customer service too. It's the frontline cast members. It's not just, it's, and, and when I say frontline, I don't mean the people you necessarily just interact with. I mean the people that are necessary to make Disney World work. I want to clarify that because I know people kind of misconstrued what I said. I, I could have been clearer um, a couple weeks ago. Um, that means the maintenance people, the third shift custodial, all of those people, the people that make Disney World work are part of that artistry because they are so important to the overall story and experience of the place. Um, that, that guest interaction can mean so much more than the most incredible ride ever designed. And to treat these people like, and this goes back to the Galactic Star Cruiser stuff too, which, uh, mind you, you can go watch that third Galactic Star Cruiser review if you want to rant about how they've mistreated those poor people who care so much. Um, this is this is more in the same vein. This regime came out. They got rid of Bob Chapek, right? They got that guy out, which was a glorious moment in saving the soul of this organization, right? And we've preached and preached and preached about how things are going to be different, and we're putting the power back in the hands of our creative people, and our cast members are at the heart of everything, and blah, blah, blah. And if this is the way this negotiation is going to go, then all of that is, and you can bleep this, David, if you want, it's bull. That's what it is. That's what it all is. I want to believe in this company. I want to believe, like, don't get me wrong. You got to do what you got to do for the stock price. I get that. But you also have to do what you have to do for the future success of your company, right? If you're, gonna, if you're willing to sacrifice a bunch of really good people, you're willing to lose a bunch of people who care about that job, and you don't really care what the next group is, because obviously the next group's going to the next group's going to care less. There's no way they're not, right? Because the next group is going to know through all of this bad publicity, the way you treated the people that are about to be on their way out because they can't make ends meet and they got to go somewhere else, which, by the way, is not necessarily a good thing, right? They're not necessarily going to make more money. It's just, you know, they feel mistreated and they got to go somewhere else, right? Or, you know, I mean, there are plenty of starting places you can start a job that, that pay $18 an hour or 17 or more at least, right? Or Universal down the road, right? They're hiring 2,500 new jobs right now which now guarantee you $17 an hour. Can I, you know, I am never the guy, like everyone for the last couple of years goes on and on about this universal thing where they're like, oh, they're catching up, they're catching up, they're catching up. I do not believe that on the creative side. I, I go watch my Super Nintendo World review. I will tell you all the things they still do wrong on the creative side and in ride engineering and all of those things. They still make a lot of mistakes. They are not, in that, in that realm, they are not in the same league. But as far as, taking care of their people, they have defeated Disney, which it hurts my heart to say. They have defeated them. They take such better care of their team members. They give them turkeys at Thanksgiving. They, again, this thing where it wasn't even, it's like, oh, they're in the middle of fighting, Disney in the middle of fighting them. You know what we should do? Why don't we, why don't we start, raise that starting wage of 17 bucks? You know what? If we're going to raise the starting wage of 17 bucks, why don't we give raises to the people who have been here longer, Right. And raising and putting this raise to 17 bucks is gonna, we have 2,500 jobs to fill. You know what? Maybe those Disney people are gonna get tired of this union fight for, for better wages and just come on down the road to here where they know if they start tomorrow, they're gonna make more than they've made being several years at Disney, right? That's the, it's a smart move. When you need people to fill roles and money is, you know, uh, revenues, profits are on the rise. This is what you do to continue growth, right? And inevitably, as a consumer, we have to pay for it, right? There's no way 
we are not going to pay for it. But I will tell you this, I am okay paying for it if it means the people in the park that work there love their job again. If those people are taking care of, if I, if I go to the park having that great experience knowing that person's not sleeping in their car, I will give you $6 for a Coca-Cola. If that's really what Disney needs to make this happen, because I get it, you have stock, you have shareholders to take care of, you have a stock price to watch, I get it. If that's what it's gonna take to take care of your people, then charge us for it. You know what? It is what it is. But I don't, I don't feel right going to the parks and standing there knowing these people are miserable, right? And it, and it absolutely has a guest-facing effect, right? And I've seen it. I've seen it over the last several years, right? And it bothers me, but at the same time, I completely understand where cast members are coming from. I cannot remember before the past several years ever being in, standing in front of a cast member and them talking about their shifts and time off and complaining about their superiors in front of guests. I don't remember that being a thing until the last couple of years. And you know where that comes from? That comes from them feeling mistreated at work. How do you blame them when this is what they go, after going through the Chapek gears and then being told, oh, Bob Iger's back, everything's gonna be better, and this is what's waiting on the other side of it? I, I would do the same thing. I would do the same thing. You know, I love and respect what Walt wanted, but uh, Walt would not be okay with this, right? And I know we, we want to go down the road, oh, he lived six, the guy lived 60 years ago, whoa, blah, 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 blah. There are basic philosophies that stand the test of, of time that are, and taking care of your people and making sure they're happy at their job is, is one of those things. It's one of those things where, again, you, when Roy Disney was in charge of the company, his salary was not several hundred times what the lowest ranking people in the company made. It was still bigger, but it was not several hundred times bigger, right? And Bob Iger's taken a cut to come back, but there is a lot of middle and upper management in this company that, you know, and, and people wonder why I was, I was not upset by the announce, announcement of 7,000 job cuts, because I'm kind of I'm hopeful that a lot of that middle to upper management gets weeded out, because they're eating up money from people that are essential to making these parks work every day. The people that make this thing happen. And look, I am sure there are good, there are probably a handful of really good people that care in middle to upper management. And I hope those people stay. But as for the rest of them, I say that it's a necessary bloodletting for the, for the sake of the future of the soul of the place to have cast members that love their job, who feel compelled to come to work and are motivated to come to work to make that magic for guests, right? Cast members are the magic is not something we threw on a shirt just to raise money for the cast member pantry. That's something, that's something we believe in, something we absolutely believe in. I've seen it a million, I have experienced a million times how many experiences with cast where they make the experience. I can think about like specifically places we go at Disney World where we go mostly because the cast members treat us so well and are so nice and go so far above and beyond. I think about the crew at Territory Lounge where we go to Sanaa, um, certain attractions we go to where everyone's just always, so, like, there are so many cast members, so many places where we specifically go to those places like, oh, we should go say hello to that person. We see them there all the time. They, they, they really make that experience better, right? Um, so, so to, in summary, because I, I know I'm going on way too long. The, the bottom line is, if you're going to preach to me how important your cast members are, this is not what the public needs. This union fight is not a good look. It is really not a good look for you when you preach those things. And I will tell you, the union is going to make this ugly, right? And you know who's going to make it? You live in the age where your company is under such public scrutiny from your fan base, right? Fan media has become such a big part of this company, the point at which, let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, that I made them cancel plans to build new attractions. They threw out Moana Tiki Room and the Country Bear replacement plan because I publicly shamed them. And if you think that won't work this time, it will. And in defense of cast members, I hope this entire community rallies around them. I hope every blogger and vlogger, when they, when they go out and pick it, or every step of this way are publishing those articles and I hope you see them and you hit that like button, you hit that retweet and whatever it takes because this company will respond to shaming and this is a moment for it. This is a moment for Universal. 
Universal has shamed them. In the middle of these negotiations, they, they enticed people to go work for them. I, the, the Universal as a company does not have the reputation, the dis, is not as distinguished as the Walt Disney Company. And for them to outshine them is gross. People in management at Disney should feel gross about the way they've represented this organization in this process. This needs to be remedied. Make this go away. Otherwise, you think the country bear thing was bad. This is going to be 15 times worse because it is going to play out on every, it ain't going to play out on just WWNT.com. It's going to play out on every single fan site, on every YouTube channel, on every Instagram. And I will tell you, any of you, again, I will say this, that are on the media list who are covering this, or should I say not covering this, this is the moment to do the right thing, to use your platform to make a positive change in someone's life instead of worrying about a free cupcake or a first ride on Tron. This is important. So I say we don't worry about a bottom line, some clout, some followers, or a media invite, and do what's right and publicize this story, no matter how much Disney is gonna try to bury this thing, right? This is, this is the moment. And if Josh Tomorrow and Bob Iger wanna prove to everyone that they give a shit, more than the last guy, prove it. Because the relationship between myself and the Disney company can be what it was before if we see things are not the way they're supposed to be again. We can go right back down that road. And I will do, especially for this being, this is a far more important thing than any of those things we fought, for, fought for before, which were just quality things. This is people's lives. This is food on people's table, you know? And people that do a lot for us as guests, people that care about us as guests because they wanted to work for this company because they love the same thing we do, right? And I'm gonna fight for people that love the same thing I love, I'm sorry. And whatever the repercussions are, I don't care. If you haven't figured out in the 16 years I've been doing this that I don't care what the repercussions are, I haven't been on the media list for a long time, I haven't gotten a free piece of food from anyone, I don't care about those things. Yeah, I make my livelihood from this, but sometimes you have to, Put that aside and do the right thing. And this is the right thing. Let us know in the comments how you feel. Hopefully you feel the same. I hope you do. And you should pressure. I know many of you watch other YouTube channels, read other sites. If you see they're not talking about this or they're not really pushing the stories that talk about this, say something. Speak up. Pressure them. People sure as hell have pressured me on Twitter about the things they don't agree with with me. It should apply to everyone, and especially in this scenario. Thank you. <laughs>